Well, hi again for U.S. Chess. I'm Steve Lopez with another video on how to use ChessBase 11, the chess database software. If you right click on a database, as we've seen before, and select search, you bring up the search mask where you can look for games according to a wide number of criteria. One of them is to find games by opening. Now, the way you do that in ChessBase 11, there's a bunch of different ways, but one of the ways to do it in the search mask is by ECO code, ECO being the Encyclopedia of Chess Openings. It's a five-volume magnum opus where every opening known to chess falls into one of 500 different categories. There are five volumes of ECO, A through E. Each volume contains 100 subcategories numbered 00 to 99. So what you wind up with is that for every opening there's a corresponding three character code, A00 through E99. To do a search for a particular opening using the search mask, you need to know the ECO code, the Encyclopedia of Chess Openings code for the opening that you want. Now, players that have played for a while know these codes uh, for openings that I play regularly, like the Carol Khan Advance, for example. I know it's uh, B12. But uh, if you don't know the ECO code of an opening, how do you find out? Well, in chess base, there's a couple different ways to do it. However, nothing in life is perfect, and I'm going to show you one of the problems that you have with openings, whether it's in chess base or in books or anything else. It's called transpositions. Uh, many times one opening will turn into a different opening. I'll give you some really, really quick examples here. Um, bring it up a board. If white, well, sorry, I grabbed the wrong piece. If white plays this, the bird opening, black plays this with the intention of playing the from gambit, white can play this. Instead of taking the pawn, you can play e2 to e4, and suddenly that's a king's gambit. We've transposed. Instead of e4, e5, f4, you do it the other way around. f4, e5, thinking there's going to be a Fromm's gambit, then e4, and you wind up with a, uh, a king's gambit. So the opening is transposed from a bird opening into a king's gambit. That's just one example. Uh, there are others. Another one that happens not terribly frequently, but it does occur, is that white may play c4 to play the English. Black replies with this. White can play that. And now suddenly you got a queen's gambit. Started as an English, ended up being a queen's gambit. So they're called transpositions. And that does throw a monkey wrench into the work. So just be aware that uh, this is not a foolproof method. But there's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, to find the ECO code of an opening in chess base. Let's say we want to find the ECO code for the Roy Lopez exchange. So what we do is we come up here to this little button up in the upper left corner that looks like a chess board. Click on it. That opens a new board. And we can just grab pieces and start making the moves in chess base, the opening moves of the Roy Lopez exchange variation. And once we hit a defining position, which this certainly is, if you look down here in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you will see C68 Roy Lopez exchange variation and sidelines. That tells us the C68 is an ECO code for the Roy Lopez exchange. The problem is that that gets us on the right track, okay, and there's nothing wrong with that, but the problem is there's more than one ECO code to the Roy Lopez exchange. Many openings actually cover more than one code, and there's no way to know from this technique whether or not you have an opening that encompasses more than one ECO code or not. So there's another way to do this with the database that comes with your chess base package, and I'll show you how to do this. We'll close this window. Double click on the icon for the database you're using. In this case, I'm using Mega Database. Just double click on it to open up a game list for that database. You'll notice a bunch of tabs across the top of the game list, and one of these tabs says Openings. Click on that. And what you wind up with here is it opens up some, something called the Super Key, which was done by a fellow named Joachim Zonka a few years ago in Germany and has been appended to the Mega Database. What you need to know is the opening moves, the opening you're looking for. So you go down a list and you look for the opening move for white, which is 1E4. So far, so good. We know that E5 is the reply, so looking at the black replies, we see E5 right here. Now, it goes on from there. How do we go a little bit deeper into this opening line? Well, I'll show you. Let me scroll this up just a little bit. After E5, you'll notice that there's a little plus sign 
next to where we're at here and this works very much like Windows Explorer if you're familiar with that where you can click on a little plus sign and get subfolders within a folder that's exactly what we're going to do here to get sub variations within the one E4 E5 variation we click on this little plus sign next to one E5 and we get more possibilities what you want after one E5 of course is uh, two knight F3 so we look down here we have found two knight F3 right here then we know that black's reply is two knight c6 well we go down a little bit farther we find two knight c6 now we're looking for bishop b5 we need to scroll this list down a little bit and here we have found bishop b5 so far so good now we're looking for a6 which is black's next move we look down a little bit farther we find a6 and even though that's the Morphe variation, the way this key is structured, it actually says right here, exchange variation. We can look right here and we see that it's C68 and C69. And that is exactly right. I do play the Roy Lopez exchange, so I'm aware of the fact that it encompasses these two ECO codes, C68 and C69. If you click that little plus sign, it, that just shows us there are more sub-variations within this classification. Click on that and you're going to find more stuff but basically what you have here is bishop c6 and then all of black's replies uh, dc6 is, is one of them bc6 is the other but uh, after dc6 you've got the classical variation with 5d4 you've also got fisher's variation where white castles at the fifth move if you scroll down a little bit further though, you find something interesting and that is that if black plays f6 that's your transposition, or that's that's your defining position of c69. Any other fifth move for black after this castling move makes it c68. So Fitcher's variation actually covers itself two different ECO codes. Just one of those little quirks of the Encyclopedia of Chess Openings. But what we know now is c68 and c69 are the ECO codes for the Roy Lopez exchange variation. So what we can do now is close the list right click on mega database go to search and here where it says ECO we just type in C68 through that's why there's a little dash there C69 click OK and it starts to find all the games and since the mega database is structured in chronological order what you find here is a chronological list the first game in the database of this opening was played in 1866 and as you scroll down you'll find the years getting later and later and later here we're into the 1980s part way down a list we go a little farther we're into the 1990s but what we have here is a big long list of all the games of the Roy Lopez exchange now there's other ways to further sort these games or to even specify particularly what you're looking for within these two ECO codes but just for the purpose of this video I just wanted to show you two different ways to find the ECO code of a particular opening variation one of them is to put the moves in by hand and look in the lower left hand corner and see what chess base tells you but just in case there's more than one ECO code for an opening the other way to do it is to consult the super key and once again the way to get to that you double click on the database the mega database or the big database whichever you have click on openings and then use these listings over here to kind of drill down to the specific variation that you want and it will show you the ECO code or codes of that particular opening or that particular variation it's that simple until next time for US Chess I'm Steve Lopez thanks for watching